Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It's good to be back. We're going to get into uh, Wednesday's Pro Box card. So it's today's card, actually, if you listen to this now, it starts in, I don't know, 15 hours or so. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe for our 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes out to you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also that little ticker below. The Patreon gets you all the best perks. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you ask the bookie anything. Uh, ask me to handicap a video. I can do that for you as well. Also, feel free to uh, – it, it also gets you the updated uh, prop bets too. For the props that haven't dropped yet, join the Patreon. Come over to Patreon. We'll show you how to uh, make money betting on those props. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog. Join the Patreon. Also, subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, y'all. Let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Alberto Palmetto Jesus Siracho uh, in what promises to be an entertaining fight. Uh, There's two mostly come forward fighters, aggressive fighters, two southpaws. Um, I, I like Alberto Palmeira. Come forward, fighter squats, goes, you know, he squats, he gets low, he, he's short, and he gets, he makes himself even smaller. He goes to the body, front foot fighter, aggressive, physically strong, a little bit awkward, a little bit unconventional, a little unorthodox, really good counter puncher. He's got quick, twitchy reflexes, which I like. He's one of those Argentinian guys who are sneaky, good athletes. And he's uh, really unconventional, unorthodox a lot of times, as you will see with these fighters. He commits to his shots. He throws everything hard. Good combination puncher. Good volume. Stays aggressive. Good gas tank. He doesn't tire. He's relentless. Good skills. Clean uppercuts on the inside. Really nice uppercuts on the inside. He can fight on the inside. He likes to come forward. The lead right hook is really, really devastating. Clean, accurate with his counter shots. Both guys are good counter punches here. Um, it's flawed defensively. He's relentless, and his relentlessness and his punch output and his, and his, it, his offense acts as his defense. It puts you on the defensive, and I think that's going to be of note uh, with Sriracha. Keep that in mind. He can be outboxed, and he can be countered as well. His head's on the line. He doesn't jab enough. Swings wild. Doesn't use his jab enough. He needs to set things up off the jab. He doesn't. He just tries to swing in. He tries to, to just work his way in, bully his way in. It doesn't always work. Is what I'm trying to say. He tries to bully, bulldog his way in. It's not who he is. It's, it, it's not always working. Uh, like I said, he's aggressive with the lead right hook. Like the lead right hook, in essence, is a defense because it gets you to shell up, and then he he keeps throwing at you. Uh, but I, I definitely think that lead right hook is is his best punch. So he's just an aggressive, come forward guy, pretty good athlete. He can he, he's defensively flawed, but offensively he's gifted. He does a lot of things well offensively. He he makes you fight. He makes you uncomfortable. He's relentless. He stays on you. And it's, it's a credit to him. He's got a terrific gas tank. He doesn't fade. And I think, ultimately, he probably wins this fight late. Jesus Sirocco is just 23 years old. Another pressure fighter. Good pressure fighter. Good counter puncher. He punches with you. It's what I like best. He doesn't play you go, I go. He punches in between your punches. He punches with you. A little bit more athletic than you think. Uh, for what he is, for a front foot guy, he's pretty athletic. He's got good speed, pretty good speed, uh, but he doesn't use it enough. He's, he's a front foot guy, but he's willing to stand in and jab and jab and jab and stay on the outside. He's And he can also be bullied and forced backward, which I think is going to be an issue for him in this fight. Like I said, decent speed, fires off really good combinations. Uh, head is on the line, too, and he, you can get him to shell up. Right, like his, his problem is sometimes he doesn't move enough. He he's athletic and he can move, but sometimes he just stands there. And even worse, sometimes he can be pushed back. And when he's being pushed back, that's not really his comfort zone. That's not his strength. 
and you can bully him. And, and Palmetto likes to bully people, which is why I, I see this. I am leaning towards him in this fight. Short fighter applies pressure, but he's patient. You know, he, he applies pressure, but he's patient. Like I said, sometimes too patient. Uh, but he throws off in good combinations. He's a good counter punch. He can slip shots a bit, but sometimes he just doesn't. Right? Like I said, he, he's athletic, but he doesn't seem to use his athleticism. He's the better athlete, I think. And Palmetto is a pretty good athlete himself, but he doesn't use it. You can force him backwards. He gets hit a lot. He will stand in front of you. His gas tank is highly questionable. You see his punch output drop later in the rounds. You see him get tired. He gets more stationary, and he's just 23. Now, maybe he can build up his endurance, but at 23, if you're getting tired, that's not a good sign. I don't know what he's doing in the gym. I don't know what his diet's like, but you see him fade. And his punch output drops. And he gets more stationary. I think this fight is close. I think it's competitive, but I think because of that, Palmetto pulls this thing out late in the second half of the fight. Now, uh, I want to take a look at this because this is a fairly even fight, and the odds are going to indicate that. I really like Palmetto in this fight. The odds on this Palmetto is at, let's get Jared Anderson down, minus 135. I like Jared Anderson. I'm, I like Alberto Palmetto. On the money line, minus 135. $100 bet is going to make you 7407 So I'd just make a one-times bet, Palmetto. I like him on the money line. I also like the fight to go the distance. I think Palmetto pulls this out on the card. If that prop becomes available, jump back in. You can join this on the money line. And you can also, I would say, look, let's look at the over. Let's look at Palmetto on points. Let's see what that's paying. I, I, Palmetto on points is going to be paying well if that's a prop that becomes available. So I want to take a look at that. Um, and that's all I got. Is I think it's a fairly easy straight bet. I'll, I'll bro to Pimetta, minus 135, take him on the money line. And if they drop the odds on DraftKings for the fight to go the distance or Pimetta to win by points, let's look at that as well. All right, y'all. Uh, that is it. It is, what is it? I don't even know what today is anymore. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Get the, the props on that. It is July 31st, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.